Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe and notification button. Today I'm doing a little what I got in the mail, what I picked up when I was shopping yesterday, and then this look that I got from the Royal Affair palette from BH that I picked up at TJ Maxx and it was $6.99 I believe. So if you want to see how I got this look and the outfit I'm going to wear with this look, which you'll see in the end screen shot. Please keep watching. Okay, so Welcome back to my channel and I just filmed a whole bunch of shit about stuff that I got at TJ Maxx and my camera acted up. So we're just going to move on to the next thing we need to do which is we need to put some makeup on our face. We're not going anywhere but we're filming today. So I picked up this BH Royal Affair palette at TJ Maxx yesterday and yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I mean, I just swatched three colors. Two, two shimmer and one matte. It looks pretty decent, so we're going to give it a shot. It has a pretty big mirror. Um, yeah. So, we're going to do a little look with it. And then, who knows what we're gonna do. Oh. I'm acting foolish, silly, and all my stuff is getting out of order. So I don't have my contacts in because I'm having some trouble. I actually think I have a contact or something probably hung in my eye. Or split contact hung in my eye. Yeah. So let me get let me get some moisturizer on this face. We are trying to use up some stuff. I need to do a updated no shit. Oh, that is way too much, Susan. This is the Kiehl's um, glowy formula. Focus. Why can't you focus on this? I don't know what's wrong with my camera. It's, tr it's got that face detect thing on, that's why. And I just put that all over my face. <sighs> Way too much, way too much shopping opportunities popping up on my phone. That's never good for me because I'm no willpower. Alright, let me get some brushes ready for us to do a little look with. And I may, I don't know, I may branch out a little bit, do something different. is kind of hurting today. All right, so I won't be able to tell well, the colors, the name of the colors isn't even on here. Actually they are, but I can't see them. So you're not gonna get that feedback from me today. So I'm going to go in with like a really dark color and the fact that I'm using this mirror and I don't have contacts in may not be the right answer. 
I have to use my magnifying mirror. All right, so I'm going into this shade right here. It's rather dark. And I'm kind of just trying to pat it in place and then blend it up and in. really into darks lately. Dark reds. I like this. It's a lot of cool tones in here. It's a little bit patchy, but um, it's not horrible. Could just be in my technique, my application technique. All right, so yes, that's all right, right, isn't it? All right, so now I'm gonna go down here into this shimmer shade and see how it does with a brush. It actually does pretty good. that on the middle I feel some fallout I feel that with a expensive palette too all right now I'm gonna go in with like this greenish grayish color in the front of that Let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's like a green. It is a green. Oh my gosh. Yeah, baby. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm letting it kind of take over that burgundy. And I'll blend it a little bit better. later get my proper blending brush I'm gonna blend that together oh yes it's very pretty if I must say we're gonna do a little we're gonna do a little detail work on the outer part of my eye if I can find something to do it with. A little bit smaller brush. So I'm going to go into like this. It's like a hunter green. And I'm going to deepen up the outer part of my eye there. And just kind of swirl it on top of that. Red comes out. It may be more black than it is anything. It really does look like a hunter green, but maybe it's a black. It's fabulous. I'm going to go in with that dark color and go under my eye. Oh. I really need to do something with my hair. All right, we're going to come back to this because this is... This is everything right now. I'm loving it. Okay. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Just to get a really good coverage on my face. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty excited about this. Mm. 
back in with my Smith foundation brush. Be very careful around my eyes. Actually, instead of me, I'm going to actually show you the outfit that I'm going to wear with this look. I'm going to put it on. This foundation will dry down like a champ and will be good to go. I'm actually going to see if I can get my under eyes a little bit brighter. This is my Kat Von D shade and contour palette. All of you are familiar with this, right? Let's see if I put a little banana powder underneath there, if that'll brighten that up some. And we'll use a little We're gonna bronze with a little bit of Kat Von D as well. So I use the banana powder shade under my eye, and then I'm using this shade for contour. I'm sorry, for bronzing. I don't really contour except for my nose. So we're gonna go and I'm just, I don't feel like opening my drawers, so I'm gonna go into my Aspen Ovard palette and I'm gonna use this right here and then this. For a little blush and a little bit of highlight. I love this palette, it smells like vanilla. I've been grabbing for anything and get my hands on because it just makes it easier. Which I happen to have my brow pencil out. We'll put that on. had no intent of doing such a a dark look. But sometimes it just happens. Happens a lot with me. 
I have no idea where my little brush is. Keep losing my ABH brush. I'm messing up. I'm messing up my brows. <laughs> okay. Let's just put some brow gel on and I'm kind of get done with that. We don't have to double up these lashes, this mascara, because I'm not putting lashes on. Every time I've tried to put lashes on in the past month, it's been it. Like madness. I don't know why. I used to wear this shit stuff every day. And now, if I try and put it on, it's like my, my eyelids go like, no! Don't put lashes on us. I'm gonna use my Kush mascara from Milk on my top lashes because. Just get a little bit of better coverage with this. Kush. Um, yeah. I could have taken the dark and kind of given the illusion that I had um, eyeliner on, but the, with the dark um, eyeshadow, but... I'm not a fan of the eyeliner bit either. So this is, do you see what it's doing? I want to fix it. Let me wipe my hands real quick. Yeah. All right, I see you, black. I see you. Black, green, whatever you are. So it's, it's, um, I don't know what the right word for it. It's kind of like, um, it's falling. It's almost like it's moving on my face, which is kind of weird. I don't know if I've ever had that happen. I think, I don't really, I'm not digging this right now. Length is not my requirement right now. It's fullness. Now I'll go back in with another coat. And I think we're there. This is an ABH gloss. I don't know what color it is, but I can't see.
I like it. We're going to put our cover FX setting spray on. And voila. So zoom me in for a second. So for a little $6.99 palette, that's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Okay, guys. So, this is my look with the Royal Affair palette by BH Cosmetics. Like I said, I picked mine up at um, TJ Maxx. I'll put a, a, a notification up top if it's still available from BH. I'm sure it is. So, anyways, I hope you like this look. And I'll see you guys next time. I love you guys so, so much. Mwah. Okay, guys, so this is the blouse from TJ Maxx. You can see it's pretty, let me move my chair out of the way. It is pretty um, flowy. And then this is my Lularoo skirt. So, yeah, I'll probably put a black sweater on over top of this and some black tights or leggings and a pair of boots and we'll be ready to go. So, anyways, what do you think? Perfect with this look. Thanks so much.